In last week's video, we built out a React tab component, link in the card above. This video is the first of several explaining what it takes to add tests to that component. Tests are so important and often overlooked. They give us confidence that our code is working the way that it should and any changes and updates that we make to our code base won't break existing pieces. Today, we're gonna get started with testing. If you're new to the Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're just getting into this space, sometimes it's hard to know where to start or what resources to trust. I wanna help you level up and get to where you wanna be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. First, before we dive in, I wanna forewarn you. This video has quite a bit of vocabulary and it might seem a little overwhelming to keep it all straight. I know it confused me when I first ventured into the world of testing. So I created a cheat sheet to go along with this video. There's a link in the description below. Let's dive in. If you're new to testing, I know it's easy to get confused with all the different types of tests, static tests, unit tests, integration tests, and end tests. So maybe this will help. This, this is a good visualization of all the different types of tests and how they work together. Don't, don't get overwhelmed. The main advantage to knowing the vocabulary is that it helps you think through testing. Am I looking at all the angles of this so that I can have confidence in my code in the future? This image is from Kent C. Dodds. He's known as the JavaScript testing guy. And he has all types of talks and resources on his website. In fact, he's written an entire library called the React Testing Library. We'll actually be using that library within our code base. I'll include a link to his website and the library in the description below. Okay, so let's talk through this trophy. At the very bottom, you have static tests. And these tests are like your low hanging fruit, typos and type errors. And a lot of these you can catch by adding default prop types. I'll show you how to do that when we jump into the code. If you use Flow or TypeScript, it handles these things too. Next up is unit testing. This is when you test small, individual, isolated pieces of your code. If you watched the last video where we built the React component, you'll know that we created a utility function called Slugify. In this series, we'll write a test for that function, and that's a unit test since it's a small, individual, isolated piece of code. Next up is integration tests. These tests focus on how your code works together, how it's all integrated. Does this component talk to this other component the way that we would expect it to? Lastly are end end tests. These are where you have a script or a helper robot that kind of clicks through your site just like a user would to make sure that it's working correctly. There's a reason why these tests are illustrated as a trophy and not a pyramid. Yes, static tests are at the base and they're foundational, but the bulk of the tests are not the static tests. In fact, if you look at the size of these sections, integration tests is the largest section and these are the most important and you can get the biggest bang for your buck. You could test all the tiny pieces and parts, but if those pieces aren't working together, then your app isn't gonna work. End-to-end -end testing is like the holy grail because it's the quickest way to tell from bottom to top if your app is working. Plus, it tests the app the same way a user would. Okay, and that's basically the methodology we wanna use. The more your tests resemble the way the software is used, the more confidence your tests give you. As we write out all our tests, we constantly wanna be asking, how does the user use the app and how do we test that? Some people will write tests to see if this prop got passed in or if the variable is updated correctly, but your end users don't care. They probably don't even know what props are and they don't care about variables you're using. They care about seeing the right data and the app behaving the right way. So that's how we're gonna write our tests. There are two more types of tests that really aren't represented on this chart. There's regression tests. These are for when something breaks within your application. You'll write a test for that breaking state, and then you'll write the code to be able to fix the bug and turn the test green. The last type is visual testing. And as a designer, these tests are really interesting to me because it's all about what you see. I'm sure you've done this before. You've made some kind of CSS change and everything looks great. Little did you know that change messed up another layout of the site. So there are visual tests for that. With visual testing, the script will take a screenshot and compare it against a previous version to determine if the result was what you expected. For example, take this screenshot. Most tests would pass. All the data is there 
but it's not displaying correctly. The content is all on top of itself, and this is where a visual test would catch that bug. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I've created a cheat sheet to go along with this video. There's a link in the description below. In the next video, we'll talk about how to get your tests for your React application set up. The idea for this series came out of a course that I'm working on that builds a web application from start to finish. These YouTube videos have been really fun to make as we build out these small one-off projects, but I want to do something that strings everything together, putting them into the context of the big picture. If this is something you think you'd be interested in, there's a link in the description below to join the waiting list and that will get you more information, early access, and any launch perks. If you like this video and want to see more videos on web design and development, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding. Come on. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Minor break. Uh, let's